Okay, this is fun. How did he get out? <laughs> <laughs> this is not a, a time to get excited. <laughs> Welcome back, gay schools, and everyone in between to our YouTube channel, The Horror Bandwagon. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sergio. And my name is Cody. And we are a voice for horror analysis. Criticism. And spooky. Okay. And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. And welcome back to another movie night reaction. Tonight, we're going to be watching for the very first time, Trap from 2024. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a movie based on the trailer that we were very excited for. Yeah. Especially Josh Hartnett. Oh. He has been having this like renaissance, this comeback, and I want him to my back. <laughs> I'm just setting you the expectations of what is to come. I'm sorry, that man is fine. And I've had a crush on him since like the 90s. So this is a very big deal and I love to see it for Josh Hartnett. Now this is also an M. Night Shyamalan movie. Mm -hmm. And we have both in our lives famously predicted what we think the twist is going to be. Oh yeah, absolutely. And we're just gonna we're gonna put it down right now before we watch anything. We're gonna see who's right. Literally, all of our life savings is on the line. Okay, <laughs> we got a wedding to pay for. Uh, my prediction is that the twist is that there's no twist. Ah, uh, you took just, mine. Uh, no, I know what yours is. What was mine? Yours was that. Oh, he's not the killer. It's the daughter. Oh yes, that is my prediction i forgot about that <laughs> now before we get started y'all know what to do make sure that you like this video subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video and if you want to support the channel even more you can go over to our patreon at patreon.com slash the horror bandwagon or you can click the join button below to join our youtube membership and with all that being said without further ado let's get into it oh hey oh uh. Trap, trap, trap. Come on, dance to it. There we go. There we go. Break it down, Cody. Yeah, Cody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My like biggest fear for a very long time was like being put in the center of a circle on the dance floor. I love it's it. Too much pressure. Even if I'm a bad dancer, it looks like he's like, like dotting uh, meat. Yes. Right? parts of meat like a cow. I do what's right, I don't go, 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 dad. I'm not gonna break any laws, Riley. Get there when you want to get there. This is literally our dynamic in the Yellow car. Yellow means slow down. And I'm like, you could have totally made it. Maybe I'll be a singer. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> That's, That's the what kind of shit Cody you say to me. That, don't even. It's frustrating, dad. We should have come earlier. Oh my God, this yeah, is totally the earliest you. I could get off work, Riley, sorry. It's the only time he got got out of work. That is very us. Also, I've said it before. I'm going to say it again. If you want Josh Hartnett, watch Penny Dreadful. Oh, I definitely want to. <laughs> and Josh Hartnett's like tall as fuck. So he's like, I can see everything. Say hi, it's celebrity. Okay, sorry. It's like a tenth row tickets. No, thank you. Tenth row. We wouldn't be real, honey. <laughs> She's like, wait a minute, hold up. I'll be tricked for 10th row. Okay, he notices the security guards. <laughs> oh, look at that cheerleader. They aren't mean anymore. They just don't include me. We keep posting stuff together. <gasps> Damn, that sucks. Also, I'm taking that he's very meticulous because he took the time to refold the paper napkin. Okay. Jody will be so jelly. That would be like the worst idea. And don't say jelly that. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of agree with her. <laughs> four A's and a B, I told you I'd get it for you. I never got grades like that. I didn't get lucky with these seats though, did I know, I? I know. Okay, what did you do to get these seats? Your house. It's extra fried. Don't ever say that. Why? Extra fried is better than crispy. Stop. I'm not teaching you any more words. Oh, this is so Cody as a dad and possible serial killer. 
How are y'all doing, my queens and kings? She's addressing us. It's fine. She starts to sing. Okay, wait, because it's this kind of a vibe. Stay in the seat or you can come with me and wait outside the men's room. Good job. I don't want to leave. You stay in the seat. Promise? I promise. You better. I'll be freaking out, though. Leaving my kid alone? I don't know. That's how people get snatched. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. What you got? What you got? Huh? He's opening grinder. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay. I it mean, seems like we, you got time, like area to move around. I feel yes. like you can try to escape. What if the real twist is that that's just what you have to do to get concert tickets? You have to kidnap the person who has the tickets, <laughs> and then they'll let you in free. Your basement, and then you take their tickets and go to the show. Ah, Cooper, hi. You're here with Riley. Yep. Yeah. Who else? And I talked to Jody, and she's going to work real hard to include Riley in things. So. Oh. Riley was really hurt by all this. You better watch your back. <gasps> Helen Mirren. I knew it. This now, is like very intense. I want to know who tipped them off. Like, And I said, you are not responsible for hurting me. I release you. Everything got better after that. All right. Deep sentimental story. And that's like kind of the kind of same thing she needs to hear with her friends. Oh, we got to... Oh my god. <laughs> You're gonna put some like horrible lens flare. <laughs> uh this is just one person. She goes all oh, lord on them. I am my mother's shadow. You feel my breathing to fight back or let it come. I, I feel like he's being so obvious. I know. That's all he's been doing the whole movie so far is like just looking over his shoulder like oh. Small please. Uh, I want that too. Look, I only have one left, ladies. Gotta wait your turn. I was standing here before her. Like forever? Though I think she was there before her. <laughs> I'll get more soon. I'll put one for you aside. Just come see me in like uh, 10 minutes, all right? Oh, wow, well, that's so nice. What's with all the police trucks outside? The camera's everywhere, Jamie. Something happening? <laughs> You know the butcher? Oh, the butcher. That's why they had the like title card like oh. that. Very smart. Yeah, they're watching all the exits. They're checking everyone that leaves. There's no way to get out of here except backstage, I guess, but no one can get backstage. This was poorly kept under wraps mm -hmm. because everybody already knows. I gotta get back. Come see me for that t-shirt. For sure, Jamie. <laughs> yeah, you're in trouble now. Oh, girl. Oh. I mean, I would assume that he pushed her. And those are a hard cement stairs. Well, let's stop messing around out here and get back to our seats. Okay. Come on. <laughs> oh my God. He's very theatrical. Dream his name and he joined me for this song. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, maybe. If we all scream his name. What's his name again? Parker Wayne. Parker Wayne. <laughs> it's Parker Wayne. Strange where that guy came out. I wonder what's down there. We should climb down and see where it leads. <laughs> Don't make her a fucking accomplice. I'm just excited for you is all. You're right. It's crazy. Forget your stupid dad. Also, there's definitely supposed to be staff like around there so nobody falls down. The uh, small concert tour team. I was about to go down to the storage closet to get more merch. I can walk with you. Sure, oh, sure, sure. No. I'll, I'll be right back, Don. That smells like trouble. Though, we can be alone in the storage closet. For, I'm fine with that. I'm kind of obsessed with him. I've been following him for all 12 victims. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah. You're not squeamish, are you? Oh, God. What do you, what do you have? She's deli prepped. Oh, like this geez. dude is next level oh. insane. Be cool. I'm sure he lived it. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear him? <laughs> Wild that he's even allowed back here. Oh, yeah. 
No, don't do it. Joshy, please. Don't wish you get cut. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Just two best friends. <laughs> to everyone. This is a photo of one of his victims, a young man who went to the State University. The State University? You don't need to know further than that. I will personally take the team member who brings this freak down out to dinner. <laughs> and a date? Body parts. Got it. <laughs> and taking the walkie. Okay, everyone is super, like, not observant. Mm -hmm. I am upset. My daughter was hurt. We can talk about it later. No, no, no. These girls just need to be able to work things out for themselves. You know what I'm saying? It's a concert, girl. Just have fun. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't, don't patronize me, Cooper. What the fuck is happening? Okay, I guess someone else is What's causing trouble. On? There's actually multiple serial killers here at, at one time. Get him out of here quickly. Oh, she's there to identify. Ah. Maybe, I think. Or maybe she's the, she's like criminal minds expert person. This not see each other as threats. Sound like a plan? I'll ask Jody. Thank you. I'm going to get back to Riley. Enjoy the rest of the concert. Uh, he's just matching her energy, which yeah. is a lot. Our person won't panic. He's here and he's trying to figure out a way out. I mean, he's like sort of panicking in little spurts. A tattoo of a rabbit or animal on his right arm. A white male. Uh, there's a male near the ramp. On the yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> they definitely won't look under there. <laughs> Ground personnel are stationed at every exit. Open communication is essential. Continue checking. That was your easiest way out. No, I feel like he would have been on camera or something like. Oh, I see. He's going to make a bomb call to police or set up a fire alarm. He, what he needs to do is take off his jacket, pull it, put his jacket back on. So they're like, oh, it's someone else. Now oh, those fries no. are going to get burnt. And I don't want burnt fries. No, nobody does. I do like them crispy, though. Oh, oh bitch. Don't bitch. Look. Turn Walk away. away. Don't... Oh, God. She didn't even warn anybody. Oh, that poor girl. If anything, he really harmed two people so far. Yeah. I just needed some air. There was an accident in the kitchen. Uh, <laughs> I freaked out. A friend got burned. <laughs> Sorry, Josh Hart is hilarious in this. No, you're not. Don't you fuck it. That's too convenient. <laughs> Look at his face. He's like, yeah, bitch. You want to see something? Here it is. She's taking down 10 of these guys. She's thought of everything. Well, that's a relief. Maybe, yeah, you're right. She's like a criminal minds kind of person. <laughs> Yeah, what do you feel now, huh? Do you feel any guilt? What the fuck? Um, don't tell me things are gonna get supernatural now. We made friends with girls next to us. Everything's already better. Oh, that's nice. Let's just be together. Sometimes when your father abandons you, you have to make friends around you. <laughs> they pick a girl out of the audience and she gets to go on stage with Lady Raven. Lady Raven also just sounds like a drag name, but also like a wrestler's name. <laughs> I assume you work for her. Every teenager in here. It's M. Night, <laughs> of course. That's my daughter, Riley, over there. The one losing her mind even more than the other girls losing their minds. She just recovered from having leukemia. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Riley, we were wondering if you would like to be Lady Raven's dreamer girl at today's show. Oh my god. <laughs> Here, put these on. You're with us. Okay, this is fun. You guys are gonna dance back and forth. You just have to follow her lead, okay? It's not about being good, it's about goofing around, okay? No, it's not for me. I need to know my five, six, seven, eight. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I would yeah. be nervous. Yeah. Like, I remember how nervous I was getting up on stage, like in high school, in yeah. like, a tiny auditorium. I cannot imagine here. Like our dreamer girl is a Riley. Where is Riley? This is also such a headline. The next day, be like, Lady Raven brings up daughter of serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<gasps> okay. The mom is suffering just as much. <laughs> I like that we like disappear into the concert and then are like, oh wait, hold on. We're, we're still dealing with him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is happening? Cause that girl that we that we pushed earlier also was like sick. Mm -hmm. You're safe now. You're gonna be fine in about 30 minutes. Hey, there this you is are. weird. He's a gem. Can we keep him? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. She has mm. asthma. Lactate milk, not whole milk. You won't stop until I do do on myself, now will you? Uh, uh, <laughs> what? Okay, okay. This like hair reminds me of that one Mortal Kombat ca character. I don't think so. <laughs> I started to think I got that kombucha just like you asked. No, that's feral fig. I specifically said I want a honeysuckle sour kombucha, bitch. <laughs> I've never had kombucha in my life. I probably should. <laughs> same, same girl, same. I move it down. <laughs> I can't blame you. They'll ask you some questions. It's nothing. We just have some extra security oh, tonight. Oh my god. It's a pain in the butt, but we've all got to do it. So only Lady Raven and her very close group works. Sorry, pal. You're gonna get caught now. Mm -hmm. But this is an inevitability. Aww. Over twenty thousand six hundred forty-two in attendance today. Over three. He's like. He's like. Well, yes. Talk me up. I talk to you alone for a moment, just for like one minute. I'm gonna talk to your dad for a second. Brb. Brb. Poison. <laughs> it wants it more than oxygen. That's why it can be so very lethal in small spaces. I'm sorry. Yeah. Excuse me? Pardon me? Oh, so you're just... Okay, you're just revealing yourself. Okay, mm -hmm. cool, cool, cool. Me and my daughter, if we want to ride in your limousine, and then you're going to drive us out of here. I will press it right now if you signal them. I don't think he's blinked once. I feel like he's killing it. What are you going to do, girl? I mean... This feels like such a mistake because now she absolutely knows who he is. I don't think she's getting away. I also feel like the police should probably still ID and do the whole thing, even if it's Lady Raven. Yeah. Because I don't think they work for Lady Raven. They work for the city. You can just drop us off in the near corner. We're parked nearby. Okay, I guess. I guess we're getting out of here. End of movie. How about right now? I could drop you there. Oh my god, this isn't happening. Is this happening? Okay, girl, you're using his daughter against him. Lady Raven played a bigger role in this movie than I thought she was going yeah. to. Jeremiah, we're going to be visiting a friend's house. What's the address, sweetheart? 108 Monk Road. Where's this going? Like, what? Oh. <laughs> That's acting strange. How? <laughs> <laughs> That's being weird. Here, come in if you can. Have a bite. That sounds great. <laughs> okay, so she's committing to the bits. Mm -hmm. I'm in control. I don't know what you think you're doing. I won't do anything. The whole time, Josh Hartman whispering into my ear. <laughs> <laughs> do you know who the butcher is, Rachel? The butcher? Oh, she's playing. She's playing with, with fire here. Found a portion of a receipt for a ticket. They found it in one of his fake houses. They're fairly certain are his. For some reason, he bought tickets to my concert. I was wondering how they were tipped off. Yeah, me too. But that seems a little too extravagant also. <laughs> Let me walk you to the door. I could play a quick song. <laughs> <laughs> the piano over there. She's like, da, 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 your dad serial killer. Twist is, she doesn't know how to play music. I like, love this song though. <laughs> <laughs> I like the music. The music is good so far. But I mean, they are committing to like showing us like full versions of each song. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have my phone back, please? 
Um, I have to go to the bathroom. Where is it? <laughs> oh, right back here. I need my phone back now. Cooper? You should call 911. I can only peek out through a hole. Open the door or I'm going to throw rocks through your windows, you dumb whore. And, and, and the door was blue. The door of the house was blue. I saw it in the rearview mirror as you backed up. Where's the mess in the bathroom? Have you lost you? I feel like you should call 911. <laughs> Texting my sis. <laughs> <laughs> awkwardly waiting until somebody says something. Okay. Yeah. Oh, she's on her phone. Oh, 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 that makes sense. Makes that so makes so much, much sense. sense. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I mean, she had two phones. How yeah. would we know? What are you gonna do now? Where'd your family go? I couldn't, I honestly forgot what they said. Well, he sent the kids upstairs, but we don't know what happened to his wife. How did you do that? Okay, it worked. They trusted her. I think you're dead, though. It's Aurora Black. All right. I'm sensing something in your shoulder. I would not consider that. What did you say? I sent something in your shoulder? I mean, like she was about to like, like hit him? Yeah, like she was tensing up. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. Can he just read minds? <laughs> you listen to me now. Enough of this foolishness. You're going to sit in your seat. You're going to be punished. Oh, she's trying to pretend he's, he's his mom. I think so. Yes, they are. Mom. Put on the fucking ties. He's like, I don't, I don't have time for this bullshit. Girl, why are you still there? All right, it's your last bit of glory. What are you gonna do? Thank you for staying by, sir. I'm gonna drive around out of here. Yes, sir. No, he's not. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Where else are we gonna go on tour with this man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's in uniform. It's strange when I get the urge. I think it's when I see someone who thinks they're whole. Uh, just break your arm. It's fine. Oh, shit. Lady Raven, help me. <laughs> He's like, no, it's not. No, it's not. Don't look here. <laughs> yeah, just let her go. If this man escapes at this moment. <laughs> It turns out he had a tunnel out of here, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> look! Look! Yeah, he saw him hit the fucking ground! Oh, uh, yep. How did he get out? How? How? He did not open the door. I, put, I took out my Italian hands for that. Girl, send this girl home. What is she still doing here? Oh, she's thanking the, the fan that, like... Save them. That's nice. He's real, comfortable, and thriving. He doesn't set off warning signals in our nervous system, but he's perfect. Wow, that Photoshop. <laughs> you always do that. <laughs> you always stand with your left hand on your hip like it's holding you up. Hey, maybe it's just got back issues. Maybe the trap wasn't set there at the concert. Maybe it was set here. I'm not following you. <laughs> me? Yeah, tell me. What was it about it that didn't feel right, Rachel? The smell of cleaning fluid on your clothes. Are they saying that she orchestrated this? Nothing I could have done about that, I'm afraid. About why we couldn't come to his party. He sort of surprised us at our car. <laughs> this is not a, a time to get excited. <laughs> Why would they take off his shirt during this time? They're doing during this. Just see if I got this. To, this exposition dump. To make you have mixed feelings. Oh, there's no mixed feelings. I will drink a glass of his sweat. I will bathe in his bathwater. <laughs> Salt burn it. I had a receipt from your wallet when I went through it from before. A receipt from the concert. Ah. She sold him out. 
And maybe I was wrong. Maybe they would prove that. When I went back, I saw officers interviewing the neighbors. Girl, if you're saying this, you probably should have had the cops stay here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's finish this, at least. Do what? Riley's pie. <laughs> what? I guess it's that good. This won't delay a bunch, I'm afraid. I'll eat this in five bites. I know. Exactly five. She knows it takes exactly five bites. About being seen by them. Did she put something in the pie? At I the think end. it's something in the pie. Because she went under the sink for something. It's shit. Because of you. I don't get to see them grow up. And that's overwhelming me. Okay, gaslighter. Punch of cocaine. You found my bag. You left it in the car. Is it rat poison? No, it must be something that like knocks them out. Girl, get far away from yeah. him. Also, you put yourself in a corner. I thought I was pretending. But I wasn't. Girl, get away. This is your <laughs> sign. Come closer. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. It was a whole setup. Oh, shit. Okay. It's a beast. Oh, damn. Tasers does it take? Hey, you know, he's he's a lot of man. I mean, I was wondering why would they leave her alone? Yeah, like, me too. So good. Once I have a sentimental moment. They don't need to see this. They don't. Why would you? Okay. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> they immediately let her go. He busts through this at the end. I mean, there's no way he's getting out of here now. Yep. He took a spoke off so he could pick the lock. Oh, my God. He's not going to get out of there. But they got guns. I mean, and there's no way you can open this van from the inside, right? I don't know. He just didn't want to be in cuffs. Well, that was trap. Mm-hmm. The identity of the butcher has finally been revealed. Cooper Abbott, a local fireman and family <laughs> <man>. <laughs> I ain't talking to nobody at work no more. I ain't talking to nobody. Nobody. Could oh, my help. God. He was a really <laughs> nice guy. All right, guys, so that was our reaction to Trap from 2024. Now, off the bat, I thought this movie was okay. Yeah. It was fine. <laughs> I would say it was an enjoyable watch. I think that it's like... It was a lot funnier than I thought it was It was a be. lot funnier than I thought it yeah. was going to be. And I have to say that... There's only so many things that a dude can get away with, right? Like, he got away with so much. And a lot of it, I gotta say, I don't think was believable. Like, and this is coming from me. Yeah. I'm mostly a person who forgives a lot of stuff in horror movies. Cody is not. But, like, I am in this moment, like, okay, that was a little far-fetched. <laughs> like, we like, can't. <laughs> I can understand most of the stuff he got away with in the stadium where they saw the concert. Mm -hmm. I could forgive some of the stuff that he got away with after they got out but i can't get over how he how he changed and escaped that limo that was surrounded by people and nobody noticed well i also just question a lot of his choices where it's just like why would he not immediately want to not saying that i need that kind of violence but he just didn't there were so many chances where he could have easily gone away mm -hmm. hid all that stuff yeah instead he put himself in danger and for me it didn't it didn't tell me that he was that kind of guy who wanted to play with that a little bit you know because maybe it's the catch like he wants mm -hmm. to be like oh here i am but you're not gonna get me but i i didn't believe that that was his motive 
a lot of his choices, I felt like, why are you doing this? Why, why are we going here? Well, I do think that he was getting increasingly desperate because he was doing everything he could to get past the police, and it and he realized that while still trying to maintain this, like I guess, facade that yeah. he was having. I will say, I think, I think I enjoyed a lot of the stuff in the concert setting mm -hmm. a lot more than the second half of the movie. I think a lot of, I, I kind of wish that the movie just stayed at the concert and had like this big climactic moment officially like trapping him there, yeah. you know, or like he kept getting away with it or causing mass chaos in, in the concert. That's just me though. That's just my personal opinion that I think it was a lot more exciting and tense. Yeah. Um, even though I will say it a lot, there wasn't a lot of tension for me in this whole movie. There were still moments that I felt that they could have gone for it. Yeah, I actually thoroughly enjoyed Lady Raven's like I arc liked it. in this. I love that she just became like total, I'm gonna take you down, dude. Though what do you think if like they what if they shortened out a little bit and kept the horror elements or the tension of it still present? Do you think that the the music and the concert stuff kind of broke that a little bit? No, I actually think that the movie should have ended right after like he got caught trying to escape with Lady Raven because there was a lot of time that it took the police to get there. Yeah. And I just kind of feel like I, I feel like somebody, some alarm bell should have gone off or she should have had some security going with her to that house. Like some more yeah. stuff should have been going on that like he would have gotten her to the house and then she helps save Steven who was captured mm -hmm. and then movie over, he gets caught. I think that it became a little ridiculous when <laughs> they still got away with it and he got, he climbed down through a tunnel and took out somebody to take the SWAT uniform and then the guy who, who like works for the limo company is just like, sure, police officer, you can take this SUV. Like once we got to that point, I was kind of like, okay, like this is stretching belief a little bit. Yeah. I mean, I personally think, uh, listen, I can separate the two. I love the music. I love the performances, but I felt like that could have been like added things to the DVD, like the Blu-ray. Mm -hmm. And I wanted the tension to still keep being present there uh, throughout the whole movie. Okay. And I wanted, I actually wanted it to be maybe a little bit more brutal. I felt like if you're dealing with a person that is called the butcher and who is like this serial killer that is like so intense that we need to fucking like surround a concert and mm -hmm. like try to trap him, I feel like we need to see just to add a level of threat to him. Not saying that like Josh Harter didn't do that because he definitely delivered on like the just like going mad kind oh, of character. Yeah. But I think story-wise, visually, I think I could have used maybe like a kill or two where he like performed where it kind of shocked us that it happened. So that way we were a little bit nervous for the characters towards the end where you had like Lady Raven being involved a little bit, which I also think I think I think she was a lot more involved than I thought mm -hmm. and maybe needed to be. I don't know. But again, that's just me. I I do want to praise from just that specifically Josh Hart did. And yes. that is not my bias because I find him attractive because I, because I also <laughs> like him as an actor and I think he really has the chops and I want him to keep getting more roles and more media roles where he can really show off and flex those those muscles <laughs> no those acting <laughs> reflexes i know that i know he can do it and i'm hoping that he has a ton more projects on, on the way because this was just like a glimpse of as to what he can do oh, yeah, i think it's great. mainly like the like the screenplay and maybe the direction no shade to m not i, sw I swear um i think it i think it could have I could have I feel like it could have packed a bigger punch. I I found it more entertaining and funny than I was more tense throughout the movie. Yeah, I would agree with that. I do think that like they sh they did show a little bit of that like what is he capable of because he was able to just casually like bump a girl down the stairs. But that should have been did. the beginning part. I mean, he could he should have killed Steven. 
He should have. I mean, we I mean, he did like he really did, mess up a girl's that's face. That's true. That that did happen. Um, but the the other thing that I just want to like give kudos to is I did think that the twist that it was the wife who put the receipt in that house. Mm -hmm. I thought that that was good. Um, I really enjoyed that. It wasn't as big of like a sort of twist that, but I don't need it. Um, I do think though that I agree with you. This was a lot like funnier than I expected it was going to be. And I could have also used a little more tension, maybe a little more brutality. Well, because like you towards, said, just the, to set the, towards the end, I felt it kind of dragged on a little bit. Yeah. It didn't, it didn't want to find its end or like it couldn't find its end right. You know, like you're trying to find the right bed and it just doesn't fit right so you try another one that's what i felt like for me i felt like it could have ended with this like big chaos he actually pulls the fire alarm the sprinkler starts a fire or something and the like sprinklers start a fire no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, i my mind led to that before i, I could have but like maybe at the end they bring in his wife and then during this standoff against the, the police that's where he finds out and then we ultimately kill him because he is a big threat and then that's where kind of as an audience member you're like wow wow we finally like trapped him we finally got him at the end here it didn't it, it felt like wow yeah like congratulations you got out of your handcuffs but you're still locked in the you're police still locked here. and it just didn't give me that like like I was holding my breath kind of moments. Yeah. But I will, again, I do praise Josh Hartnett. I think he is just as charming as ever and um, just looks great. <laughs> He's very, very well built. <laughs> but again, this is just our opinions of the movie. Mm -hmm. This is just our, like right after we watch it, we don't take a break. We are just hitting record and we're giving you our thoughts. But that means we ask you to comment down below and let us know yeah. what you thought about this movie. As usual, we want to give a special shout out to our patrons. Thank you so much to each and every single one of you. If you want to go join the Patreon gang, go over to patreon.com slash the hard bandwagon. Benefits start at $3 and up. And where you'll find the full watch along of this entire movie in watch along format. And if you want to unlock exclusive emotes and members only lives and watch alongs, you can click the join button below to join our YouTube membership. Big thank you to those YouTube members and those who are YouTube members and Patreon members. You guys are freaking awesome. But until next time, we have been your source for hard analysis, criticism, and spooky, okay? and sometimes kooky entertainment. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.